<laughs> so, so you have a hundred llamas. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so, what do you do with them? Uh, we raise and sell show and breeding stock and pets, and um, I I hand spin. So I spin the yarns and, and sell that and other handmade products. Um, but they are, I mean, they're just really enjoyable animals, and most people want them just because they enjoy being around them. So, uh, you know, regardless of the purpose that you use your llama, um, they're all pets. Hey, hey, you actually, I don't know, I can't think more. It's gotten bigger. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, isn't that sweet? That's sweet potato pie. We call her sweet pea. I love these faces. Everybody's different. They're yeah. Very individual, very unique. If you can put a degree to use this. <laughs> Hello, boys. How are you? They're neat animals. They're actually clean animals. They use communal dung piles, so you'll find yeah. little areas in which they all use it. And, um, we have What's litter that boxes. Noise? He's humming. They hum? Yeah. Sure, say it again. He says no. <laughs> yeah. Okay. They Are hum. you humming to us, baby? They hum, they cluck, they snort, they growl, um, they orgle. They make a variety of noises. They're described as the, the silent brother, but they really have quite a vocabulary. But usually any time an animal is either um, mistreated, bottle fed, or spend a lot of time bottle in a public, yeah, public situation, they get really pushy or they get really um, angry quickly. Uh, bottle fed animals imprint on people, so by the time they get to be full grown, they're going to treat you like another llama. And they'll, they'll push each other around. You know, they, they won't always be so gentle with each other, but they are um, incredibly gentle natured animals. <laughs> very curious, as you can see, very intelligent. <laughs> <laughs> they really are. Look at them. Aren't they funny? Oh, even my friend is leaving. Well, I have the back pasture open, so they're um, that's where they're headed.